What up, Heart Squad? A friend found his old Pokemon cards binder, and today we're gonna look through it, and I'm gonna need your help to spot things that this guy misses out on, which apparently can be a lot. But on the inside is a friend's old Pokemon card collection from base set to Neo, uh, some of the E series sets as well, and we're gonna be taking a look. So, as we get into it, I would like to first say, if you watch the channel and enjoy it, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, please leave a like. Let's try to reach 10,000 likes. It does support the video, so I appreciate it as always. Now, this is a quite simple binder that I would honestly say is not good for storing cards. But on the meantime, I hope the condition of these cards are good. Now, I have not looked at it. They wanted me to do a video or just basically look at it and it would be fun, I thought, because I've done this before, of evaluating my friends and other people's subscribers' collections. So, let's take a look. Are you ready? Oh my, oh my, oh my. And what I'm gonna do, since I don't have an overhead cam for this, I will be taking, this is a lot of nice stuff, there's a lot of nice stuff on this. All right, I wanna, I'm gonna take all of these out. And, oh, don't get, don't get, I hope these don't fall out. They probably won't, but. Uh, I'm seeing some first edition cards. I'm seeing some cards falling out. No, I'm kidding, they're fine. So, let me just quickly go like this. Oh, there's this, there's nice stuff on like the very last page. Yeah, the, the, of course, that's just how it always is. So, we're gonna put this over here. And flip these over and we will begin with the first page so we got some base set cards the one and only charizard you can never get tired of looking at char i know you've seen lots of base set cards but have you seen this yes off of first glance it looks like a first edition machamp which everybody thinks is worth a million dollars after going looking on ebay listings but you don't actually check sold listings but look closer my friends as i try to gently take this one out to verify the condition this is a shadowless machamp compared to like this clefairy no offense clefairy there's a shadow right there so this one is one of the more rare types of first edition machamp cards now they're all almost all our first edition because they have the first edition stamp on it however this is, and I will not be doing this for, oh my god, look away. I, I choked. The condition on this is not the best. I will say that. But I still shall put it in a sleeve. All right. Looking closer, and we will get to the Charizard. Look at that uh, Magneton. The Magneton is also a shadowless Magneton. Let's take a look at this one. Now there are scratches on, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm choking up again because of that. No, I'm not, just, you know, something in my mouth. So there is whitening on the uh, sides of this one for it being a shadowless Magneton. Still gets a sleeve. And yes, we're gonna get to the Charizard and Blastoise now. Um, Here we go. So, of course, it's always cool when you have a Charizard in your collection. This is just the unlimited version because it has the shadow. The HP is more bold. And the back is pretty white on the edges. Some surface scuff as well, which is unfortunate. But then again, you know, these have been in a collection for a long time and it's still worth something. So there's Charizard. Let's get to this Blastoise up here and take a look at this one. So this one looks like it's in much better condition. Are you ready to check the back, Heart Squad? Ah! Hide your kids, hide your wife! There's whitening all along the sides of this one too, but there are no bends. Let's be optimistic about that. And it still just looks beautiful. Uh, I, I never get tired of seeing these cards like this. These just are, uh, not the condition, but just in general. So we'll leave those in there for now. Oh my, looky, looky. There is a shadowless Venusaur. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, such a beautiful holographic card. It really is. Not too much uh, bad conditioning on the front, but of course the back has whitening on it. It's not the best, but that's okay. You know, 
It's still shadowless Venus Shore, which is which is awesome. The Blastoise would have been nice if the Charizard was, even in that condition. And then uh, we have the Poliwrath shadowless one down at the bottom left. I'll just, I'll just leave that one in there. So there's the first uh, binder. What do we got next? I guess I'll go like this. So this is pretty cool because these look like there are uh, non-holographic rares. And that Electabuzz at the very top is the Shadowless one. So same with the Electrode and the Pidgeotto. So that's pretty nice. Just because you never know what you're going to get in these down here. There's multiple Dratinis. And these are all, except that one, is Shadowless. So, and that one's unlimited. So uh, it is going to be interesting. And I won't do this for every card. But you got like Shadowless Magic Carbs and then regular Unlimited Magic Carbs. You never know. There could be like... A first edition one stashed away in there. There's some Charmeleonaires, but those are shadowless ones, so that's always very cool. Farfest is shadowless. And then we have a Haunter. Very nice. That's a shadowless one. Jinx. There's the magic carp down there. So there's that one. Next up is a mighty fat stack of uh Bulbasaurs down there. Bulbasaurs. And those are Shadowless too. Uh, I'll leave that in there. Raticate, Porygon over here. Very nice. Charmander. I did see some first editions later on. So we'll get to those shortly. Wait, did I? Yeah, I checked every side. Okay, cool. All right, so more Shadowless cards. There are, we gotta check the Pikachus. You never know what you're gonna get with Pikachu. So Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. Yellow Cheeks Pikachu, come on. Hey, look at that! See, this is exciting, yay! It's an E3 Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. Now, I think it's the Red Cheeks one. That is the more rare version of this type of E3 Pikachu card, but very cool, it used to be in magazines. I don't even think it was handed out, or unless the magazine was handed out at E3. That's so cool! So like, I mean, I guess I can spend a little bit more time like, you know, for my favorite Pokemon, Squirtle, checking what we got with these. Some Shadowless Squirtles, and then an Unlimited one. That's a Clefairy doll, that's uh, a rare card, even though it's a trainer. Let's take a look at the back. And some more Shadowless cards. And some trainers, those are rare trainers, everybody's favorite card to get. Including these. Item finder, yay! But that's like the best trainer card. Yeah, she's the best. She's the best. So we'll go through fast through those because now we're getting to some more sets coming up. There is a first edition Clefable. That's warranting looking at anything first edition. So let's take a look at that. Uh, definitely some scratches on the hollow foil part and some whitening on the back, but still. Warrants putting inside a sleeve. Very nice. You know, it's it's the first edition one. non hollows from Jungle. Oh, look at that! Jolteon! This is the best card value-wise from the Jungle set and my favorite too. Not the best condition. My favorite is actually on the bottom of this one, but be on the lookout for no symbol error. Uh, jungle holographic cards. These all look like they do have. There's the first edition Kangaskhan though, but there's my favorite. Uh, this is definitely my favorite jungle holographic Scyther. It's pretty cool. And then there's a Vaporeon and then Pinsir. So let's put that over here. Do we have some more? Yes, we do. We have a Venomoth from Jungle. Every, so I'm not seeing, you know, if there's any type of air cards or anything, let me know. Not just the no symbol airs. Pharaoh first edition. That's pretty cool. Looking on the back. First edition Nidorina, Lickitung. Those aren't worth like too, too much, even though they are first edition, but it's still very, very cool that there are. And there may be some behind some of these uh, stacks of cards, like the eggs over here. There's Mankey first edition. Tauros. Oh, look at these. Wow. All right. So, well, there's the. Uh, Gold Border Meowth. Now, I think that may have been either from a magazine or Game Boy. Maybe from the Game Boy. But in any case, let's take a look at... Let me make sure I get these fine and nice. All right. 
a first edition Pikachu with the gold W, and then there's just a regular one. So let's take a look. Not the best condition, but not too, too bad. But I will put that in a sleeve because that's still a very cool one. Better than this one, which is just a regular unlimited one. But it's still nice. Don't don't let it get you know get you wrong or anything. Oh, the Taurus was first edition on the back. Didn't notice that. Oh, look at these! A first edition Aerodactyl pre-release card, and then a non-hollow. Very nice, the original uh, pre-release stamp on the holographic part, and then there is whitening on this one. I'd be surprised when we find one that doesn't have a lot of whitening is when it'll be like really, really big, but this is still uh, very cool for cards that obviously have. Wait, this one's in decent condition front-wise. And then we are just desperately not surprised on the back with some whitening at the top. But a Dragonite holographic from Fossil would be nice if it was first edition. Because even the first editions in poor conditions are still uh, worth something. But uh, there's Articuno holographic. Very nice. Haunter holographic. You can barely tell, but it's shiny. For the Haunter holographics, it's always cool to look out for... Uh, I guess they're called like what? Cigar? Cigar, cigar mark ones or whatever. Same with the Hitmonlee, where there would be like a brown mark, not related to the bathroom or anything. Is there more than one? Oh wow, look at that! Look how different they look from the first edition one to just the un uh, unlimited one. That's, I know they're different because that's a different print run, but is the Hypno? Holo no, Hypno's not holographic. Very nice. That's just the front side. Now we got some more Nana Hollows. Very cool. Moving on to a heavier sheet of cards, but some more fossil cards, just uncommon. So nothing too, too crazy with these. However, just some fan, uh, fast glances at these. I think the Kabuto cards, there are like a, a special type of Kabuto card. Let me just see if there is one. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, well. There goes that, so nothing too exciting about that. Golem's first edition over there, didn't notice that before. And there are, repeat, there are some pretty incredible hollows that I did see coming up soon. So get ready for those. But in the meantime, we are just finishing up these. Wow! I am impressed. It is a full set of Warner Brothers WB movie, first movie cards. Sometimes, especially the Dragonite, gotta look out for the uh, Kids WB logo print upside down in this area. That's a definitely more rare version of it. Otherwise, these are not too, too rare. Uh, there's a very nice promo Dark Persian holographic card. And then a Mewtwo Black Star promo card, also in Legendary Collection. Wait, is that the uh, both sides? Yes, that is. All right. Now it looks like we're moving on to some Team Rocket cards, and there's a the Rockets Trap Holographic card, not bad. Some first edition trainers. And then Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge. Hopefully, maybe a Blaine's Charizard, uh, Blaine's Arcanine, I don't know. Those are just unlimited. And some Neo cards now. That's very cool. First edition Neo Genesis trainers. Like Sprout Tower over here. Moo Moo Milk! We have it in first edition now, yay! Double Gust, and back down here, a first edition Team Rocket non-holographic trainer. Pokemon March, I love that card. The illustration for it is very cool. And then another first edition Team Rocket. Everybody look! It's my favorite Squirtle card of all time. And it's even in first edition too. Now this is the best collection ever. That's what it is. That looks like a newer card. I guess there's gonna be some newer cards? And interesting. Clefairy, first edition Neo Gen. Pikachu, also first edition, that's incredible. Brock Sandy. Dark Gloom, first edition Team Rocket, not bad. Moving on, what else do we got? A first edition Diglett, Meowth, Persian. Very nice that these are all first edition, minus the Gold Duck. But there could be one behind it, but it's not really that worth it. Growlithe! Is there gonna be? Not not yet, but Abra first edition from Rocket. Machop. Very nice Dark Kadabra. That's not too bad of a card. And a rare Dark Machamp first edition. Alright. 
We're getting to some really nice ones coming up. Ponyta, Rapidash, Slowpoke, Night After Slowpoke, a holographic. Here comes Team Rocket. That's the vintage one, not Evolutions. Dark Magneton First Edition. Magnemite. What else do we got here? A Dark Muck Rare. Uh, uncommon, excuse me. But it's First Edition is what I meant. Voltorb. Sabrina's Drowsy. Next up is... Nothing too, too crazy I'm seeing. That's just an Uncommon Mr. Mime. There's another Neo Gen Magmar, so that's pretty cool. First edition Vaporeon from Team Rocket. Dark Flareon. Jolteon got unlucky and didn't get the first edition approval. Unfortunately, what else do we got? Some more Neo Gen. And a Neo, is that Neo Discovery? Kakuna Matata. Yeah. Holy World. Onyx. Creepy Lab Eevee. Ooh, I see a hollow at the very bottom. Bayleaf. I like how they have it in stage by stages. There it is, Meganium. All right, let's take a look at this new, uh, whoa, lots of Electabuzzes. This looks like it's in actually really good condition. Can anybody say Lugia, maybe? This is in surprisingly really, really good condition. Good job, person. All right. A Meganium Neogenesis. Um, is that it on the back? Yes. All right. What do we got next? Oh, I see some good stuff. Totodile Crocona. That's the first edition one. Quilava. The Cyndaquil's a uh, first edition. Quilava. And on the back. Noctowl's just an uncommon. Furret. All right. That one's not too crazy, but here we go with this. My favorite, not just one, not two, but two, not two. How do you do? You better at home better have said it as well. I, I'm watching you, Marie. And, ooh, wish there was a Yan Mega. That would be pretty cool. Sunkern first edition in a Meryl first edition. Moving on to, oh, now we have to be very careful because look. There is a Slowking with a Swirl. It has a Swirl and an unknown. Let me check the back. And no more holographics, but we'll take a look at those. I just want to uh, make sure I gently get Slowking over here. That is beautiful. Look at that. So much room for scratches. And there are scratches on it, like right there. Um, it's all center too but surprisingly in very, very good condition, especially with the bike. I mean, less time probably handling these than the other, like the base sets and stuff, but still a Neo Genesis Slow King. And let us get this unknown out gently. Unknown A for awesome. Looks really good condition. Yeah, a little whitening up there and over there, but man, good job with the Neo cards. Can only hope there is a Lugia, but in the meantime, or a Typhlosion, Umbreon, very nice non-holographic rare. Same way, that's not first edition, but the Murkrow is. Hey, not bad. I, I only see one Umbreon, or else I would take it out to see if there's more. So, uh, going with this, oh gosh, I see something nice, but it's not on this page. I mean, this is really nice still. Ursaring, first edition. Look at that swirl. We'll take a look at that. Skarmory first edition. That's a great, great one. What else do we got? Oh, wow, we have some good stuff. We have some good eating in the neighborhood. Let me, okay, not get that out. I guess it's this way. I'm trying to be very careful with these. So this is the Ursaring card. But look at that swirl right there. That's beautiful. I do see some hollow bleed at the top. Otherwise, not bad condition for these. And it's first edition, which is fantastic. And then the Skarmory. Actually, there's, looks like maybe, is that an ancient Mew? Let's take a look. Oh, there's two! Wait, and we'll go with the unlimited one shortly, but look at that beauty. There are factory print lines on it and it's off center, which is notorious. Uh, the factory print lines is notorious for Neo Gen in the Neo sets. 
but it is first edition. That is beautiful. And then there's the unlimited version. Better centering, I will say. And still some whitening on it, but I'll take it. So it looks like we have some, uh, well, not this, but this. It's a sealed Neo card. I'll leave that in there. And looks like there is an Entei Black Star promo and Elekid and stuff. That's a rare first edition one. That's not bad. Same with the hip on top. Very nice. I'll take it. Now, guys, please put your drinks down and get ready for this. Oh, the Lugia has been found. All right. Let us be very careful with this one, because there's something else behind it. Oh, an ancient mirror. Please be in great condition. So, there are scratches on the surface of it. Centering is very nice. There is whitening, but it's not even close to as bad as the base set card, so touche! A very, very nice find with a Lugia holographic card. If it was first edition, I'd be going crazy, but still, that's still a very nice card to pull. Um, I, well, we got Ancient Muse. These look like just the uh, English ones that you get from the movie, or this, basically. This is a sealed one. These. There are different versions of this, and I've done several videos on it, including having the rarer Japanese ones, which obviously this is in hieroglyphics. Uh, there's lots of amazing cards, oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's two. A first edition Dark Slowbro from Team Rocket, and then a non-holographic one. Centering is great. For, for Wizards of the Coast, this is in great condition. For a first edition Dark Slowbro. Very nice. Wow, this is such a smorgasbord of cards. Just, I'll show you. There's a first edition Dark Blastoise down here. Let's, let's get this one out. This is a biggie. All right. Not too much on the scratch department. Maybe some factory lines? No, maybe some scratches. Centering is great. And not too, too much bad for the whiting part. So first edition Dark Blastoise from Team Rocket. Very nice. There's also a first edition Dark Vile Plume. If it was unlimited, it wouldn't be too special, but since it is first edition and it's in decent condition too, I gotta say, this one's fantastic too. But let's look at, let's look at some of these other cards, because these are pretty, not these Detective Pikachu ones, but this. It's a shiny Gyarados from, uh, is it Platinum? Maybe it's Platinum or Heart Gold Soul Silver set. And then a shiny Duskull. Um, I, I, I don't remember the set, <laughs> but it is a very, very nice card. Those are pretty rare cards. Um, so let's take a look. Oh, it's sleeved. I guess because it was a much later uh, and it's not even like in the best condition, but that's okay. I'll, I'll take it. And then the Gyarados. Yes, there's some E-Series cards. Oh, this the Gyarados is in. Um, so there's whitening on it, but it is sleeved still. So shiny Gyarados is incredible. A Black Star promo rare bird is the word E series card. That's pretty cool. And then the Target Magikarp holographic card. There's a Rapid Dash Black Star promo card. Grodon EX, Kyogre EX, and then a random Raichu GX. And my friends, that is it. Hopefully, you enjoyed this Pokemon cards binder review. If you did, leave a like. But in the meantime, click on those videos right now. My name is Leanheart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.